Every first person shooter released this year has a rate problem. And that problem is that the bar has been set so high by a Call of Duty series. So if a developer brings out a new FPS title and the weighting of the weapons and control methods don't measure up, then the game is immediately at a disadvantage. Mag has this problem and I'm pretty sure I can turn my body faster than someone can run circles around me. But once you get into the game, you quickly brush aside these problems and start to see what an achievement MAG actually is. In a Call of Duty environment, 256 players in one game would be pure chaos. However, this game manages to instill discipline into its troops. It does this by firstly being completely unforgiving towards anyone that attempts to lone wolf it. Go alone and you'll get killed and you probably won't know how. The other method is almost an RPG element. As you progress you gain experience points with which to level up your character, which adds a real addictiveness to the game. The level you're at also determines which game types you can participate in, with the full 256 matches only open after level 8. You soon come to realise that in order to level up sooner, you have to follow your orders. You gain much more XP by defending or attacking the objective to which you've been assigned and healing your fellow soldiers. In other words, you gain more from actions that benefit team more than actions that benefit you. And only when you've mastered this will you progress. Much like real life really. When you have levelled up to become a veteran at game, you then have opportunity to dish out orders to grunts, which also means that only those that have really earned the stripes are allowed to lead. It isn't a frustration free experience though, especially when you're new to the game, it's very unforgiving. Even when trying to play in a team, die many times and you won't level up as quick as you'd like. And if you get into a game where people aren't healing each other, you spend a lot of time running from the spawn point into a hail of bullets and then only to go back to the spawn point again and run again and die. So it'd probably be a good idea to get friendly with as many people who play the game properly as soon as possible and avoid games with those that mess about and don't do what you're meant to. The game is a completely online experience so it contains little story elements to it, apart from to explain differences between three factions that you can join. The environments are pretty boring looking places, although they are massive to accommodate the large amounts of players, but you will soon become over familiar with all of them. There is no blood or bad language in the game, which means there is no BBFC restriction, something that is quite refreshing in a genre that tends to set itself up as adults only, even if it isn't actually the case. It's not as bad as it looks. So Mag is a rate milestone, its ability to organise such a massive group of online players is commendable, and whilst playing, I personally didn't encounter any real network issues, which again is an achievement for a network service is considered inferior to Xbox Live's paid for service. The lack of variation and dedication level required to get the most out of the game will definitely turn a lot of players off, but that only means that the community will settle down with only the serious players remaining and those in command the cream of the crop. The scope of the game is unmatched in any other game, it's just such a shame that the control method and the dull looking visuals let it down a bit. Fantastic job guys, fantastic.